To create reports from oil spill analysis, go to the main window and select Window, then Report List from the menu. This will show the list of analyzed images. Select an item from the list and click Open. This will show the analysis for the selected image. Select the layers that you want to include in the report. A snapshot of the image can also be included in the report. Then select the name of the operator. The recipients of the reports are automatically selected, based on information in the customer database. To create a report based on this selection, click on Generate Report. Next, the report template must be filled out. The contents of the report are fully configurable and can be adapted to different customers. Both the contents and look can be configured by using XML and XSL. Now the report is ready and can be sent to the recipients. The report can also be previewed before sending. Just click the Preview button. This will open the report in a web browser. Now, let's take a look at a very useful image enhancement function. First, we'll open an image. Select one from the product list and then click Open. You can also double click on the list item to open the image. Looking at the panner you can see that the image is almost saturated in the near range, whereas the far range is very dark. Let's resize the image to get a better look. Now it is apparent that the intensity varies from oversaturated in the near range to undersaturated in the far range. In the OAT, there is a special filter for normalizing pixels between the near and far range. On the menu, select Filters, then Scaling, followed by Near Far Range Normalization. Now, the image has been normalized. You can see that the saturation is more uniform across the range. This results in an image better suited for analysis. Another useful feature of the OAT is geographically linking images. I'll start by opening one image from the product list. Then, I'll open another one. The images overlapped geographically. The second image is quite bigger than the first, so I chose a spatial averaging factor of 2 for the second image. Then I arrange the images next to one another on the screen. Now, in the main window, I check the box named Link Selection for both map views. Then, I click the Link button. Now the two images are linked geographically. This means that the center position in both views will be the same geographic coordinate. Thus, moving or panning in one window also affects the position in the other linked view. That's the end of the presentation. Thanks for watching. For more information, contact marketing at spacetech.no.